Hey folks, it's Karen Trepti here. So good to see you today. Happy Friday and for those of you in the United States um, going into a big weekend, a long weekend for some. So here we are in the summertime again. The few things I know I haven't come on live for a while. I've been working really, really hard behind the scenes to come up with some new content for you guys and be as helpful as I can in the area of finances. So I wanted to go through just a few things with you today. The first is actually a question for you and I would absolutely adore to have um, have some answers from you and see how you feel about all of this. If you're watching the replay, that's totally fine too. You can always comment um, below and I will make sure that I answer your questions. So let's talk about this juicy subject right now. And that question is, are you a saver or are you a spender? And I may look down from time to time because I've got some notes for today. Um, so I think that both of those are extremes <laughs> and there's really benefits to being both because let's talk about the saving, I'm sorry, let's talk about the spending side of the equation first. Now if you're an entrepreneur, which is likely if you're watching this, you know that we've got to spend some money to make our businesses work. And that's totally fine. And even if you're not an entrepreneur and you like to spend money because you like to bring joy into your life that way, in my humble opinion, that's still great. It's still totally fine. So the question is, when you're spending money, are you doing it in a conscious way? Like, if it's for your business, are you thinking about ROI? A lot of people know the term, but a lot of people may not know the term. ROI stands for Return on Investment. And it's used, uh, thanks for joining me, and it's used in the finance world quite frequently and it's definitely used by big businesses when they're deciding how they're going to spend their money to see if they're going to get a return on investment. If they're running an ad, they want to see if that brings in sales, right? <clears throat> if you're working on your website or working on design, you've got to think about, um, which I am, You've got to think about how much money do I want to put into that project and is it going to be money well spent? If you're spending money for joy, then you want to make sure that the money that you're spending is actually bringing you joy maybe in an experience, maybe in the form of new clothes, but not just stuff, quote unquote, that's going to like clog up your house and your closet and cause you to go further into debt. So I've done another video on debt. So you're welcome to Go and check those out on my YouTube channel. I'd love it if you would subscribe there. That would be super, super happy for me. Um, so that's pretty much the spending part of the equation. I always encourage my clients and my friends and myself to use a software and I will put it, I will link it in the comment below called You Need a Budget. Now, Disclaimer, I asked them to be an affiliate after I used their service for several years and really loved what they were doing. So they said yes. 
So if you sign up with the link that I give you below, I'll get a free month, and so will you. <laughs> so I just want to make sure I'm being transparent in that realm. But the reason, and I've used lots of different softwares to track my money. Um, you know, I've been a nerd in this area for a long time. So I've used lots of different softwares and the reason that you need a budget is so different to track your money is because it helps you to work with the money that you have right now not what do I think I'm going to have next month which in the financial world is called forecasting trying to guess basically usually with some solid data or information but it's still a guess, it's still a forecast, it's still something that's not in your pocket yet. And You Need a Budget works from a whole different paradigm. It works from the paradigm of what you have now. Okay, what do you have to make this money work for you right now? What does it have to do? Does it have to buy your food? Does it have to buy your shelter? Obviously, those are very high level priorities. What do you have left over that's called discretionary money? What's left over at the end of the month? And if you plan, it's a lot easier to have discretionary money. And honestly, saving money, guys, is not a punishment. It's a gift. It's a gift. Thank you for that thumbs up. Saving money is a gift for you, for precious you whether you're planning for the future or planning for something shorter term. So when I say in next week um, blog, I wrote the blog for next week, next week I'm going to talk about the number one way that's really simple to just start saving money. But I really want to know like how you feel about that. like. How do you feel about yourself when you spend money on your business? I mean, I know for me, it's a lot easier for me to spend money on my business than it is on my health or going out to eat or doing something just for fun. Although I do have a lot of fun running my business, I do admit. Um, I love helping people with finance. It just brings me a ton of joy and realizing that the impact for them is going to be so long term um, and bring them benefits their entire life really makes me happy. But when you think about am I a saver? Am I a spender? All I'm asking is that you make a conscious choice in each moment. You use a tool like you need a budget, figure out where your money's going. A lot of people don't like doing that. They think, oh, you know, that hampers me and that keeps me bound in. It's rules. And come on, guys, I'm a rebel too. But rules and structure can actually do good things for you, especially if you're making the rules, right? Doesn't that make it seem more empowering? If you're going and you need a budget, you're making your own categories. You're deciding what you want to spend the money on and ultimately by tracking it and planning for it that is what gives you the power to go for the bigger goals for what you um, want to do. So um, when you're paying your bills who do you pay first? I'm all about paying you first. That's who you should be paying is you. <laughs> I mean, I was taught that a long time ago by a very successful owner of a company. And I'm talking about decades and decades ago. So let me look at my notes and see. Um, so I'd really like to know where you like to spend your money, how you like to save your money, how do you feel about it? Money is such um, a juicy topic for so many people. Like, how does it make you feel when you're spending money? I do almost everything in my life on intuition with a little bit of structure. 
So it's important to know in your gut, like, am I doing the right thing? It's important to think about it, especially if it's a bigger spin. Like, does this really, really feel good to me? Is this something that I'm drawn to that I know will bring me a return on my investment? Um, even if you're going out to eat ice cream with your kids, I would say yes. You're going to have a great return on investment, right? Because you're going to remember those happy days that you did that, and so are they. So let's see if there's anything else on here. Oh, okay, so I will refer you to, and I'll put a link. Let me write myself a note for links. I'm going to put the YNAB link in, and I'll also put, I did a video on the benefits of compound interest, or actually just the principle of compound interest. So I will put that in here as well, because there's always a time value to money. And if you start saving your money early enough, you can have it grow at tremendous rates. My clients last year like got 17% on their money. That doesn't happen every year, just so you know. Historically, it's about a 10.22% rate of return for the products that I market, which is a really great 20-year rate of return, just so you know that. Um, so you've got to think about carefully, do you want to spend it, do you want to save it? Of course, I encourage you to do both. I want you to enjoy your life along the way, and I also want you to plan for joy, for your goals, and learn how to save your money, and learn how to put it into an instrument that's giving you a great interest rate not like a little savings account in a bank. And I can teach you, can teach you how to do that. So let's see if there's anything else on there. Um, sure, you can always book a free consultation with me. I'll put that link in there too. Um, that's what I love to do is give people customized ways to make their money grow the fastest they can for the stage of life that they're in and for their current goals. So there are two more things on here I wanted to chat with you about and then I'm going to hop off. Um, I wanted to let you know that I am changing my name. I'm working on rebranding little by little. I know Gaijin Works Coaching, as much as it meant to me, because it means foreigner in Japanese, has not been the easiest for you. <laughs> Even my daughter said, Mom, I, I can't spell gaijin still. So I am changing. I've already changed my Instagram handle, and it's now at K for Karen, T for Trepti, finances, plural. So that should make it pretty easy to find me. Um, on Pinterest, I've got the KT finances up there, too. On Facebook, it'll probably be a slower change. I've got it up there a tiny bit. But I'm not in the mood to spend 10 tons of money on rebranding right now. So I am doing it little by little. But I just wanted to say that out loud. So for those of you who are following me, thank you. Um, I've got a lot of great new things on Pinterest, a lot of ideas there. I would love to have you follow me on Pinterest and Instagram as well as Facebook. So I am changing that. And the other last announcement I want to make is that I am going to start a monthly kind of a Q&A event. And I will be, um, I can tell you that the date right now, the first one is July 9th. And when I come back on here next week, um, I will give you a link to that event. So in fact, I'll write myself a note event link. That way I'm keeping my promises. So I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Please do tell me what you'd like to hear about. I'm going to be doing these um, live events online where you can come on and you can ask any questions at all about finance. I mean, my dad opened Merrill Lynch in Tokyo like when I was small. 
So I love finance, and if I don't have the answer, I will research, and I will do my best to get you the answer of what you're asking for. So sending you tons of light and love as always. Have a beautiful weekend, and I will talk to you next week. Okay, ciao for now.